All right, guys, we got the most surprising Mythbusters results. Let's check it out. This one's by none other than Adam Savage. Guys, I don't even know if this show still runs to this day, but let's check it out. All right. Looks like he's doing a Q&A. Whoa. Hello, everybody. Adam Savage, and I am <laughs> talking to you from my cave in San Francisco, where it is currently early December, and the days keep getting... Look at his workshop, bro. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff around. Little scientist, bro. He's got the NASA. He's not, I'm not sure he's technically a scientist. Does he have a degree and stuff, guys? Let me know shorter in the comments below. And shorter. Keep getting shorter and shorter. And I gotta tell you, it's bumming me out. I don't like these short days, man. December 22nd, one of my favorite days of the year. Because after that... Oh, it gets longer. June 22nd. Mm, not happy about June 22nd. That's where it starts to get shorter. <sighs> I'm just saying this because I looked up at the skylight and it's dimming. I was told the older we get, the shorter the days get. And I'm starting to believe that's true. But still, days can seem long for me, guys. I don't think I'm that old. And, you know, I'll be going home in the dark. And I don't like doing. But... What am I doing here? Why are, why are you watching me? It is because I am taking questions from tested patrons, specifically about Mythbusters, and answering them in this format. And so, the question today... Alright, Q&A video, guys. This had 2.5 million views, only uploaded like a year ago, so... ...comes from Mike R. Mike R wants to know, What was the biggest I did not see that result coming moment over the years? <laughs> what does that even mean? I, I, I don't didn't see this coming result, bro. Thanks for writing a sentence that was difficult to say. I know, right? Like, but it is. I think it's like properly formulated, guys. <sighs> Mike R wants to know what was the I didn't see. Oh, yeah, the most surprising result. I think Jamie would have the same answer. Golf ball car. The most surprising result. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. The myth was, actually, before I even tell you the myth, I have to tell you some prehistory. A golf ball has, is it 488 dimples? It might be. It's some number of, a golf ball has dimples. And if you... F yeah, thankfully they have dimples. Other would be, it would be like a giant, you know, it would be like basically like a ping pong ball, right guys? Fired a golf ball without dimples, it would not go nearly as far as a golf ball with dimples. Why? Because each little dimple creates a little uh, uh, air current eddy, and together the combination of all of those create a kind of a, uh, a, a, I'm gonna say oily, but what I mean is slippery air around the golf ball. So a non- All right, all right. I'm getting a science lesson here, guys. Dimple golf ball. I mean, he's been doing a show where he would basically do it, uh, give out stuff like this for so long, so it makes sense, makes sense. Is itself flying through the air, and the air is resisting against the, the outer surface of that ball. But a dimpled golf ball is actually, you have to consider it, it is coated with, an, with sort of an almost sticky air. And the air against air means it slipstreams much faster. Don't take my... Yeah, something like that. I already imagined it in my head, so I, I, I get what he's saying. I get what the, the message is. My word for it, it's just a simple fact that undimpled golf balls go farther because of their aerodynamics. And I submit, I might be getting their aerodynamics slightly wrong, but the fact remains. Hey, uh, I, I totally got it. I think, uh, I think he explained it, right, guys? If he didn't, I apologize. And so the myth was that if you covered a car in golf ball like detents it would also increase its fuel efficiency because <laughs> guys it, if that was true you think uh automobiles would like companies would uh, actually do it guys i think they would 10 extra miles per gallon i'll be i'll be happy uh i can't remember if this figure is true it's one i read when i was a kid but Above 20, 25 miles an hour, a car is expending like 70% of its energy just pushing through the air. So, aerodynamics is... Dang, bro, I mean, it's like a giant freaking piece of steel that is just like somehow moves. Back then, if we, back when we were like cavemen, 
I think we'd be quite amazed by them, right, guys? Is where a huge amount of fuel savings should come from. And the myth is that golf ball detents is one of the ways you could do it. And there were even companies selling vinyl wraps that had detents in them and saying this was making your car more fuel efficient. So Jamie and I, it turned out that one of the, one of the gentlemen who managed the beautiful wind tunnels at NASA Ames Center, where we filmed many, many times, and specifically their water tunnel, which was so great for beautiful footage, uh, was also a, 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 a high-level amateur golfer whose particular Bailey... He said high-level amateur golfer. Okay, okay. So basically borderline pro golfer, but... <laughs> And that's what it seems like. Wick was golf ball detents and their aerodynamics. So he was delighted to work with us. I'm so sorry. I don't remember his name at this moment. Uh, and we ended up covering a car in golf ball detents. We got the automotive department at the Academy of Art College where they were making clay cars all day long. Hang on. I wish he showed like a few clips to, to you know, but I'm, I'm sure, you know. This is his personal channel. I didn't even know it was going to be his personal channel. He's got a ton of subs, guys. Six million. Uh, as part of their education. And we got them to come to... Uh... So, you know, he got successful off the show, and now he's got this YouTube channel he can basically live off now for extra income, man. That that would be so cool to have so many multiple sources of income. This guy's quite rich, you know what I mean? To Mythbusters, we coded an entire car in clay in like an inch thick of clay and then we carved i think 1500 detents on the outside of that car yo that that probably took like all day right guys that ain't no easy feat 1500 detents on a golf car uh, man we i wish we could see a picture or something guys the other thing you should know about this story is calculating precise fuel usage of an engine is a really really difficult task and one that kicked our butt almost every time we had to do it. Um, when you want to know a really exact number, how much fuel did you use for this run? Sorry guys, I'm petting my dog. He's on my lap. That's tipsy. Run. Flow meters are really difficult. Extrapolating the math from the engine diagnostics is really difficult. And by the time we did this story, golf... There's a whole science to it, for sure. Well, car, Jamie and I redounded to a simple fuel cell where we had... That fuel cell? What does even a fuel cell mean, bro? Had a primed fuel pump going to an engine that ran, and that pump got exactly one gallon of gas. And then we drove that car on a one-mile course at 30 miles an hour, and at the end of that course, we... You know, going, going 30 miles per hour in a golf cart is pretty fast, though, right, guys? I guess they're trying to save time or something. I how much gas was left. That was, and I still feel like this, it's one of the most precise, just lock it in methodologies for obtaining a, a precise number for uh, how much fuel was used. Yeah, the, their experiments are kind of like, you know, scient nearly scientifically controlled, right, guys? And we did that a couple times, and then uh, we got a number, and that was the number to beat. Oh, also, knowing that the weight of the clay was going to be a factor, we actually took all the clay we were going to cover the... Right, so we did a control with a non-clay-covered car. We put all that clay in the trunk, I think. Or we didn't carve the detents and we ran the... At any rate, the car weighed the same for all the tests. I can't remember the exact specifics of whether we put the clay in the trunk or we just covered it, ran it, then carved the deep. Hey, we might not know if he did, he did that or not, but it doesn't matter that much, right, guys? Tents. Could have been one or the other. Because he said it weighs the same amount, but putting clay on it, why? Both are reasonable. <laughs> but we carved the detents in the car, we ran it on its course, and then in the episode, you see Jamie and I open the trunk. Pull out the fuel cell, and we look, and hell's bells, Margaret. It's fourteen percent more fuel in the fuel cell. Yo, bro, we need a. This is a scientific discovery, guys. For real, bro. Why? Why aren't car companies doing something like this, man? I feel like we're missing out. We could be helping the planet a lot more than there was for the previous control test.
14%. You should know that your mood, your mood on any given day can affect your fuel efficiency plus or minus 10%. Easy. Your mood is the greatest factor for the fuel efficiency you get. I'm here. Wait, why mood? Because of like driving conditions or driving habits? I, I would assume that's why. I'm here to tell you, it's you. <laughs> So 14% from covering this car with detents was an impossible result. Unbelievable. But we really walked through the whole methodology and Jamie and I still... You know, Elon Musk needs to see this, bro. Elon Musk needs to add this to a Tesla or something, right, guys? We wouldn't be saving electricity. We'll stand by that result and we didn't shoot any coverage we didn't shoot normally when you do something like that you open the trunk you then once you've gotten the sequence you film all that in one take and then you go in and you button it well they didn't even film it guys he's running a show bro this is this is a television gold right here you know what i mean at that point i think saza or benny was our camera get shots of the trunk opening get shots of the paper and the, you know all of those little things that tell the story we were like we are never going to have more energy than at this moment in which we're like, holy hell, I cannot believe this worked. Oh my God. Both of us laughing, laughing, astonished, astounded. They're, they're laughing out of success, man. That's pretty cool, guys. I did not expect it to even work. But then again, the, the title is called Most Unexpected Results. So maybe I should be expecting it, right, guys? Amazed that we got this incredible result. That was by far one of the most surprising and wonderful days. And I love that shot in the episode. Coda. Six months after that episode aired, Jamie and I got an email from one of the big three automakers. Uh, and oh, snap. You think that'd be like, yo, we need you to not air the episode or something. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> there might be a cover up going on or something. And they have lots of clay cars in the auto industry because that's where, that's one of the, uh, ways in which they make car prototypes out of clay. And they had taken one of their clay cars out of storage and carved a whole bunch of detents in it and did a wind tunnel test. Yeah. Guys, detents the uh, proper word here? I thought it was going to be like dense, bro. And they were writing to us to tell us that they think our results were wrong. Oh, snap, bro. Oh, but uh, is that so? You know what I mean? Like, come on now. I think it's a conspiracy. Which is fine. They were using a totally different car. They were doing it with a much more SUV minivan type of car. We were using like a um, suppository sedan, you know, like a mid 90s. I thought they were using a golf cart. Tercel or something like that. Um, they probably like, uh, you know, made sure that it would go wrong by, by modifying it or something or picking one that would just not work for whatever reason. Right, guys? I say suppository because there's this whole, all, all those cars in the late 90s and early aughts all had like all soft edges. Maybe it's not a conspiracy, guys. I don't want to get, you know, I don't want the automakers to come out after me. They're probably right, guys. I think the automakers are right. It's no, ugh, blah, don't like those cars. At any rate, the this automaker was using a totally different kind of car for their test. So I submit that I, I don't accept that they, I don't accept that we got our methodology wrong. But my favorite part about that <laughs> is that one of these multi-billion dollar corporations went through the effort and took the time to look at our episode and then say, we should try that ourselves. Like, so they did air it. I don't understand, bro. You say he did air it. He did, guys. We caused that to happen. We wasted their time. I love that. I We wasted their time. I mean, you know, they, these are engineers. They want to know the answers to questions. They saw something they were surprised by and they thought they tested themselves. That is a completely rational uh, response to something that is surprising. That's pretty cool. So, you know, that's why we don't have it because it's not practical, I guess. I don't know. I just love that it happened <laughs> to us. But he disagrees, guys. He disagrees, man. I don't know. Yeah, without a doubt. I'd rather go with electric cars. That was my favorite, whoa, surprise moment. Um, yeah, that is, a, that is a terrific, terrific question, Mike. Um, and that's it. That's my Mythbusters question today. Thank you guys so much, Tested Patrons. I love your questions. Uh, and I will continue to keep answering them in this forum. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Oh.
Check out Adam Savage's Tested. I'm not sure if he... Guys, does he have more channels? Let's check it out. Let's see. It might be just like this. He, uh, he doesn't. He, I don't think he does, but... Pretty cool, nonetheless. And he's got a join button as well. Cool, cool. I uh, nipples in my car. I got a discount on it because of this. They call it Major Body. That's not what I mean, bro. Major Body. The result had me shocked. Was the one where they tested if a tree or plant could be stressed if you yelled at it or threatened it. The results, the results are pretty. Yeah, I heard trees can even see, bro. When you're up next to them, guys, like real, really, bro. That's pretty cool. But like, comment, subscribe, check out the original video in the description. I'll see you guys next video. Peace out, everyone. I do all my reactions live on Twitch, so if you want to come through, say hi, you're more than welcome, and I'll see you guys later.